Created in 2006, the CCC has for a long time been known as the UTMB's little sister. Like its elder, its route is tracked through the three countries which surround Mont Blanc, with a start given from the Val d'Otin capital of mountaineering, Cormayeur. This transnational dimension occupies a place of great importance in the hearts of the organizers, runners and members of the public. One only has to be there at the moment of the start and vibrate to the Italian, Swiss and French national songs. With its 100 kilometers, 6,000 meters of accumulated ascent and its increasingly high caliber and international lineup, the little one is nonetheless one of the most prestigious races in the world. With almost 30 kilometers of the route above the altitude of 2,000 meters, the Tete de la Tranche and Grand Col Ferré rise to more than 2,500 meters. The CCC crowns a strong man or woman who is capable of being rapid, has endurance and technique, and in short, is in possession of all their faculties. And that is from the start. The runners follow their race by crossing the Val d'Otin Val Ferre, where their route is strung out between the mythical huts of Bertone and Bonatti. This majestic, cheerful and mountainous route, which attracts runners from all over the world, is made possible by the good understanding, cohesion and friendships which exist between the organisers of the three countries.
Together, they have produced this magical race, which is fully integrated in the World Trail Running Summit. As from the start, Hayden Hawks assumes his statute as favourite and blasts the race at a very steady speed. On his hills, within the same minute, we find the next winner of the UTMB, Ludovic Pomare, the Moroccan Rashid El Morabiti and the Swiss Mike Egros, determined not to let go of the American rocket. Will their experience of long races be enough in the face of the speed and panache of the young American runner? For the women, their youth is also making a strong impression. The American Claire Gallagher takes the lead from the experienced Maiti Mayora Elizondo. 27 kilometers into the race, the distance between the runners is only two minutes. Advancing well in the mountains also means knowing how to adapt to changeable and persistent weather conditions. The climb up to Grand Col Ferré is a good example. The race director, Catherine Poletti, warned the runners during the briefing that it would be cold over that sector and to avoid hypothermia. The runners were asked not to rest at the top of passes or in exposed areas. The runners are not going to need any persuasion and will go down rapidly to find less hostile ground. The CCC track mainly takes the second half of that of the UTMB. Certain runners wanting to do the complete tour came to test their capacities in the race of the three Cs. But even as two-thirds of the UTMB, it is already long for some. The CCC certainly merits its eight qualifying points. <laughs> Quoi le plus dur euh, Ça va être le froid. S'il fait très froid, ça va être le froid. Et l'humidité. 
The Moroccan Rashid El Morabiti, who was clocked in third position at the Fouli, appears to be suffering and there is still a long way to go. Champex lack, barely more than halfway along the route, and even if the race leader passed at the beginning of the afternoon, the majority of the runners are getting ready to pass the night outside. We're going together. The whole race, we did plan for it since last year, applied and got in with the first time. And so here we are. Quite happy. Yeah, very happy. And uh, only came to enjoy, not going to run for a time or anything, only to enjoy. Just to finish and, and get, get to Chamonix. Finish. Yeah. Looking forward to getting to Chamonix. Some 10 more hours, maybe 11, we'll see. Estamos súper bien, motivados. La primera vez que corro, pero está espectacular la carrera. Todo ha sido lo máximo, pero ahora viene lo más duro, pero ya, vamos a lograrlo. La idea es llegar a las 7 de la mañana a Chamonix. Vamos a hacerlo y vamos con toda, porque aquí estamos representando a Colombia. During this time, the race leaders are moving at around 12 kilometers an hour on the descents and about eight kilometers an hour on the climbs. While Hayden Hawks widens his advance minute by minute up to the finish, the pole Marsan Sviek has taken the second position from Ludovic Pomeray. Hayden Hawks wins his first victory in the UTMB. He will have dominated the conversations head and shoulders above the others, leaving little hope for those following him with an 18 minutes advance on the nearest. Newly entered into trail running after years of athletics, this is true recognition for the very talented runner. It is finally the pole, Marcin Sviek, who takes second place ahead of Ludovic Pomeray, very satisfied with his third place. The Americans realize a double with the victory of Claire Gallagher, who gives herself the CCC title in only 12 hours, 13 minutes. At only 24, she has confirmed that she has added her name to the list of the discipline's names to watch, while the Spaniard Mati Mayora Elizondo clocks in 13 minutes later.